so let us see one more uh, question on rate of the reaction so basically what is rate of the reaction as we have learned rate of the reaction is equal to change in concentration of the reactant per unit time this is minus for the reactant now again the same if i write for the product plus would increase in concentration of the product divided per unit time correct now they have given me this particular reaction this is one way one more one more way of questioning you rate of the reaction so let us write so when such reaction is given to you nothing to do we very well know all these are reactants and all these are products right so wherever the you find how many of our products you find try to put per plus and how many of our reactants you are going to find try to put minus now for this i have to write just equation so rate reaction is equal to because you are starting with the reactants start with minus yes now <coughs> this is the we have uh, coefficient of this so this becomes 1 by 5 <coughs> concentration of br minus divided by delta t now equal equal to now are there any coefficients here not there so minus of here also you have to write uh, change yes here we are o3 minus put it in the square brackets with respect to time done there's one more reactant here which is equal to 1 by 6 concentration of the proton divided by respect to time this is uh, done for your now i have to write minus also this is done for your reactant now equate this whole thing with your products now products you have one by three correct so the addition of the of product divided in respect to time now what should you write for the product because products are increasing rate plus which is again equated to plus one by three concentration of water divided by time this is how you are going to represent just try to put the concentrate coefficients here as a fraction just equate or everything nothing to add please don't write add this rate of change of concentration with respect to time equal to this one this one equal to this right so let us start with this uh, concept that is rate of the reaction first basically this particular question just they've given us define rate of the reaction with units and also graphically represent <coughs> the reactants with concentration c with time t and products concentration c in time t okay they've given me a lot of things to explain first what should i do i have to define this now first of all let us start the definition so when i start with the definition of rate of reaction right what actually is rate of reaction it is increase in concentration of reactant reactants and decrease in concentration of products in unit time okay what am i trying to explain suppose if you have started your reaction or you have taken a reactant A, right? What are you doing? You st started analyzing that particular reactant. You want to know or find out the given salt. So, when you are heating this particular reactant, yeah, <coughs> what happens is the kinetic energy in the molecule increases. As and when the time starts increasing, the reaction also proceed in, proceeds in the forward direction. So, the concentration of this starts decreasing and your product concentration starts increasing correct with time now so what am i doing i'm comparing this concentration with respect to time change i'm comparing this concentration change with respect to time this is your rate of reaction that means <coughs> rate equal to minus what am i doing for the reactants i'm going to show it with minus minus change in concentration of reactant with respect to time which is equal to positive why did i write positive because it is increasing change in concentration of product here i am taking it as b with respect to time this is rate of now let us write the units if i have to write the units of this observe concentration is always measured in moles per liter 
correct? Yes. And your time, you can either mention it in terms of minutes or seconds. So finally, how does it come? Mole, liter, inverse, minute inverse. This one, mole, liter, inverse, second inverse. These are your units. Done? Now, what do they ask me? They have to show this graphically. Now, observe carefully. Now, I have two things. One is I have to draw a graph for reaction concentration versus time. Right? Now, your graph, this is your concentration of reactants. Then here, what am I doing? I am making versus time because they've asked me to show versus time here this will become concentration of broad x this is versus time correct yes this is what they want us to show observe the char characters what they want us to show and then start making now initially when this is it's almost the same thing initially when you've started your reaction yeah, at time is equal to 0, the concentration of the reactant was how much? It was maximum. Now, 1 second, 2 or 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3, 4, 10, 15, 20, you started, or the reaction started increasing, not like, you know, the rate of the reaction, with the time, the concentration of the reactant starts decreasing. So, just observe, with the time proceeds, the concentration of the reactant decreases. Now let us see for products. Here initially when time was 0, when reactant was maximum means product will be minimum. Yes, as the time proceeds, this goes on increasing. As your time proceeds, this concentration of the products increases. That is what we have written. A will become minus, pro products will become plus. So this is how we are going to show increase at 0, decrease at 0. At maximum, this is reactant will decrease. At maximum time, when the reaction is coming to an end, the product will completely increase.